folks, sunny south. Hope everybody doing real good. Hope everybody had a real nice Christmas. Chili on the menu this evening. We're going to be doing what I call an old smoky bowl of red. Going to be good. We're going to be cooking this uh, chili in four stages today. You've heard me talking about cooking in stages and building on flavor profiles throughout the stages. That's how we're going to be doing this today. First stage is taking this two pounds of 80-20 in that pound of ground pork. We're going to get it out on the charcoal grill and let it cook out there completely and pick up some smoke. For the second stage, we're going to put together our vegetables and get our dry blend seasonings together and let them toast and bloom out real good. It's very imperative that you let your chili powders and stuff really maximize their flavors to bloom out and cook a little bit instead of just throwing it into a broth or a liquid. I've got a big old Vidalia onion and a couple of different uh, bell peppers cut up back there, about equal amounts of each. You use however much you want to as far as bell pepper and onion, whatever suits you fancy on your chili. It's your chili. I've got three different chili powders right here that I'm going to be using today, and all three of them are readily available in any supermarket. I've got some ancho chili powder, some plain mixed blend chili powder, and some chipotle chili powder. We're going to get that in with the vegetables and some cumin, oregano, and let that all bloom together and get happy. And then we're going to get some minced garlic in there. And once all that comes together, we're going to take this beef that we smoked out on the grill and get it in there with the vegetables and then move on to the third stage of this cook. Third stage of the cook, we're going to add our tomatoes, some paste. I've got two cans of kidney beans there, a dark and a light. Use whatever beans you want. Got some reduced sodium beef broth we're going to get in there. Let that all get mixed together. Give it a taste or two and see what we need on salt. To add salt that's going to be needed, we're going to use a Worcestershire sauce and some uh, chicken bouillon. We're going to add flavor along with the salt. In the final stage of the cook, we're going to balance the heat out a little bit with some honey. We're going to hit it with a splash or two of beer just to add some hoppiness and earthiness. And I've got some uh, ground corn flour here. That's mesa flour. We're going to use to thicken as needed. I like to use a, a masa flour instead of like a cornstarch slurry and whatnot because this adds a little bit of flavor to your chili. So the first thing we're going to do is get this three pounds of meat out on the grill and get it cooked and let it pick up some smoke. Let's get to it. Now we're going to cook this beef over indirect heat. I got all my coals over here pushed to one side. I got the vents wide open. We're just going to get this meat in here. And I'm going to kind of just press it down. I'm going to put some hickory sticks up here on top of this heat. Let them get the smoke in a little too. I'm going to add a good little smoke flavor to this meat. Bottom vents are wide open, top vents wide open. You always want to put your top vents over top of whatever you're trying to pick up smoke with so that the heat comes up and the smoke travels over the meat. Now we're just going to let this smoke and completely cook through. And when it's about halfway done, we'll start on the vegetables. The meat's looking pretty good. It's getting some good color on it. Let's get the vegetables going. Let's get some olive oil in the bottom of the pot. I'm using my big old stock pot here to cook this. Bell peppers in. Get these onions in here. 
Good morning, y'all. We're just going to let these vegetables saute and sweat down a little bit. And we'll add some uh, garlic and some cumin and some oregano. And then we'll put this meat in here and get our pow chili powders in. It's going to be extra good. All right, I got the pork and the ground beef off of the uh, grill out there. It has picked up some nice hickory smoke from those chunks I laid on top of the uh, the charcoal. It smells really good. It's going to give this chili a real nice flavor. These vegetables are still sweating down. Let's take a look at them. These been going about 10 minutes, and uh, you can see some water down in the bottom of the pot. They sweating pretty good and softening up. Let's get some goodies in there. We're gonna put a heaping tablespoon of cumin in. We're gonna put about two teaspoons of oregano in. A heaping teaspoon of minced garlic. Oh, that smell good. We're going to start putting our meat in. Got a nice hickory smoke on it. Boy, that smells good. I'm gonna get a tablespoon of that ancho chili powder in there. A tablespoon of regular chili powder. And we're gonna get a tablespoon of that deep, smoky chipotle powder in there. We're going to let all this cook together a few minutes until all of these seasonings are nice and hot and releasing all their flavor. You can look at that entail. That is going to make an outstanding base for this chili. It smells absolutely delicious. And chili powders are really starting to bloom out. I can smell the garlic, the oregano. It'll be good. All right, this has been sitting here simmering for about four or five minutes. Go ahead and get some paste in here. I got a six ounce can of paste. I'm gonna put, put about three tablespoons in there, about two and a half ounces. We'll give it a taste in a little while, see if it needs any adjustments, of course. We'll get the paste on in there. 28 ounce can of diced tomatoes drained. We're going to get that in there. So 
So we're about halfway through the third stage of this cook. We're going to get some beef broth in. And this four cups, one box. And I want to add just enough to cover the contents. And it probably will be about four cups. And it was. I got a can of light red kidney beans. We're going to get them in there. And they drained. And I always kind of run some water through mine in the can and rinse them a little bit. I don't like that stuff they pack them in. And then here's some dark red kidney beans. We're going to get them in there, drained and rinsed. That's a pretty good looking chili right there, for sure. We're going to bring this up to a simmer. Starting to come up to a simmer. Let me go in here and give this a taste, see what it needs on salt. Boy, I tell you, that is good. That hickory smoke is really starting to come out of that meat and get into that broth. It's going to need a little salt. We're going to put about a tablespoon of Worcestershire in. And I'm going to put some uh, chicken bouillon powder in here. Do about... Do about a teaspoon and a half. I'm gonna get me some cracked black pepper in here as well. Quite a few turns, get this peppered up a little bit. Looking good, smelling good. Gonna be good. I'm gonna get a lid on here. We're gonna let this simmer for at least an hour and let those uh, chili powders really infuse into the broth and let that smoke come out of that meat and get into that broth as well. And then we'll come back, give it another taste, see what we need on adjustments. If it needs any more cumin, any chili powder, paste, if it needs more heat, we'll put some red flake in it. If the color ain't red enough, we'll add some paprika. You can fix this when you do it in stages. And then, of course, we're going to put some uh, beer in there. And probably add a little honey just to mellow it out a little bit if need be. And uh, if it needs some thickening, we'll use some of that mesa flour. See y'all back shortly. All right, we've been simmering here about an hour. i tell you what, it smells Good. Nice smoky bowl of red. We'll get another taste of it here. See how we're doing since we added the uh, the salts. Pretty darn good. There's a little bit of heat on there. I'm gonna balance it with some uh, honey. I melted this in the microwave just a little bit. I'm going to put about a tablespoon in there. We'll add a little at a time of that honey until we get the balance on it right. And that's up to individual taste. You may want to leave it just the way it is. And that tablespoon did it. Sure did balance it out real nice. I'm gonna get a little beer in here. Just a few tablespoons. And that's optional. If you don't like the taste of beer in your chili, don't put it in there. But I really like it with this smoky chili. You know, those hops just adds another dimension of flavor. Makes it real good. I 
regular folks approve. I'm gonna let this simmer just a few minutes with this lid off, and let that alcohol evaporate off in a few splashes of beer. And then we're gonna get a little bit of that uh, masa in there and a slurry. Get this thickened up a little bit. It's gonna be extra good. It's right on tomato, chili powder, cumin. All the seasonings is right. I'm not going to do anything else to it. Now, when you taste it at this point, you make whatever adjustments you want to. If it needs more oregano, put it in there. Cumin, you want some more chili powder, put it in there. You want more heat, add some cayenne pepper or some red chili flakes. It's your chili. Make it how you want to make it. All right, we've been bubbling here a few more minutes. And, uh... Got the right amount of broth to solids ratio for me, but again, that's a personal preference. If there's too much liquid, just let it sit here and evaporate and reduce before you add any thickening agents. Or you may like your soupy. Leave it the way it is. Your chili. And I'm going to thicken mine up a little bit. I whooped up some of this masa flour with some water. To about the consistency of pancake batter. If you put it in there straight, it'll lump up, so you gotta make a slurry out of it. So this was about three tablespoons of masa flour and about a quarter cup of water. And it's gonna thicken this uh this broth up real nice. It doesn't work as quick as cornstarch slurry or a roux but it does thicken. It looks like it already started to. We're just gonna leave the lid off here a few minutes. Let this thicken up. And then we'll give it final taste, make any final adjustments. All right, been simmering here a few minutes. Thickened up nice. Just the way I want it. You want yours thicker? Put more slurry in it. Give it one final taste. Boy, that's good. It's good chili. And I'm gonna cut this down to just where it stays hot. Put a lid on it. Let all that sit there and just get happy. A couple of hours. Chip. The longer you let a chili sit and meld together, the better it is. But you don't want to overcook it or over simmer it because your beans will fall apart on you. So I basically like to just keep mine hot. And we'll see y'all back shortly, plate up for dinner time. Supper time. Let's get a bowl of this old smoky red chili put together. That's going to be some good eating right there. Get a little cheese on the, on the top. A little sour cream. I like to top my chili with just a little bit of chive. And that's it, folks. A bowl of old red. Got a nice little smoky flavor to it. Delish. Till next time. Peace.